Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're having a look at this HPE C3000 that we've configured for our customer. This is based on the HP BL460C Gen 9 server blades along with the DS2020 SB storage nodes. There's many benefits of going down the blade system route when you want to go for multiple servers. So don't take a point out, each one of these boxes is equivalent to one server. So one DL360 Gen 9, Gen 10, uh, Gen 9, sorry, DL360 or DL380 Gen 9. And we've got 14 of these compute nodes. So in this little box, we've got 14 servers, the dual CPU, and we've also got the storage nodes, which take up to 12 drives, in addition to the two in front of each server. It's a really fantastic solution. So again, benefits. Uh, we save rack space by going for this form factor. As we've got 14 compute nodes, you can have up to 16 compute nodes, but we've got two storage nodes. It runs from minimum three power supplies and up to six power supplies. So you save electricity. The management is via one CMC or control face. Um, networking is also very, very easy. Just a few cables in the back to control each blade. There's 10 GB interconnect, up to 40 GB interconnect per blade between each other. So there's lots of benefits for going down this route. You save a lot of electricity. Again, we're basing this on the BL460C Gen 9. We've configured this as a HA cluster in Proxmox as per our customer's requirements. I'll show you inside the BL460 Gen 9. I'll show you the back and I'll show you Proxmox as well. I'll just show you the storage. Really cool. So the first two nodes we've configured are SANS, backed up as well. And this is shared storage for all the HA clusters. Three blades are all clustered. So this is the storage. So we're at the back. So these are the VC flexes, which control the internet, ethernet for all the blades. As you can see, it's just two DAC cables connected to our 10 GB, which is giving every single blade internet access. We're just running off three power supplies, as you can see. It takes a total of six. Many options for upgradability and expandability. Here's the CMCs, which you can uh, connect to configure the blades. Now I'll show you one blade and then I'll show you props. So guys, I thought I'd just show you inside the BL460C Gen 9. As you can see, it takes two CPUs. Under this is another heatsink for the second CPU. These are all the RAM slots. Space for two hard drives at the front. And here we have the network adapters. These are the special form factors made especially for the blades. Now I'll show you Proxmox. So guys, I've just logged into the OA of the blade system. As you can see, you can access all the blades from here, including the storage node. It's very GUI friendly. All networking and OS installation, everything can be done remotely from here. Health and everything can be checked from here. Go back to the rack overview. As you can see, we'll go into the storage node and check everything. You can remotely configure everything from here. Restart everything all from one OA. And I'll show you Proxmox that's been installed. So as you can see, we've installed Proxmox on all the nodes. You can have multiple VMs on each node, so it's really a really good, amazing solution. This so you can, we've got E52660 V3 CPUs in each blade and 64 GB DDR4 memory, and each node has two 900 GB drives 
apart from the first two nodes which have 12900 GB extra with them which we've created as, as a SAN so it's very Proxmox friendly and I think these are also configured as HAs so any blade system solutions just drop us an email that's all for today guys thank you